5,000 years ago, the city of Kondak was ruled by the tyrannical king Akhtun, who planned to manufacture the crown of Sabak, which was known to bestow great power on those who wore it. A boy leads slaves to rebellion after enslaving his people and forcing them to dig for Eternium, a magical crystal required to make a crown. When the boy was given the Shazam power, he transformed into the heroic champion Kondak Taith Adam, killing Akhtun and ending his reign. Intergang is currently harassing Kondak. Adriana Tomas, an archaeologist, attempts to locate the crown of Sabak with the assistance of her brother Karim and partners Samir and Ishmael. While Adriana is receiving the crown, they are ambushed by Intergang, killing Samir. Adriana inadvertently casts a spell that awakens Adam, who then slaughters the majority of Intergang's army. After an Intergang soldier fires an Eternium rocket at Adam, causing him to fall into a coma, it is revealed that Ismail is an Intergang member intent on claiming the throne for himself. Amanda Waller, a government official, became aware of the incident and contacted Carter Hall for assistance in apprehending Adam. To stop Adam, Hawkman is joined by fellow Justice Society of America members Dr. Fate, Cyclone, and Adam Smasher. On the inside of the crown, Adriana noticed an inscription that read, Life is the only way to death. Amon, Adriana's son, regards Adam as a Kondak hero, but Adam disowns him and departs. Amon creates a scene within Turgang in order to prove to the Kahandak that their champion has risen again, and manages to get Adam to intervene and defeat them. The JSA arrives just in time to prevent Adam from causing any further harm. Fate senses Adriana has the crown of Sabak as they fight. They are able to halt Adam for a short time before he flees into the ruins of Ankot Palace. The JSA asked Adriana to hand over the throne, but she refused until they told her the truth. Adam was the one who lost control of his powers 5,000 years ago, destroying the majority of Kondak. Ammon was given the crown, which he brought home with him. Ismail appears alongside Karim and reveals his true nature. Amon flees from Ishmael, who shoots and injures Karim and pursues him. Meanwhile, Adriana and JSA meet Adam and attempt to persuade him that he can be a hero to Kondak before Amon summons Adriana, who begs Adam to save her. Ishmael managed to kidnap Amon and escape with Eternium before Adam arrived. Adam tries in vain to save Amon by dealing with Intergang. Hawkman captures two Intergang members and interrogates them about their hideout when Adam returns to Adriana's house. Adam interrogates both of them with violence and discovers where Intergang is hiding, but the manner in which he is interrogated enrages Hawkman. During their fight, Adam and Hawkman discover Amon hiding Sabak's crown in plain sight. They intend to use the crown to cooperate with Amon and will have to fight alongside him to save him. Fate reveals to Hawkman his forebodings about his own death as they travel. They meet Ishmael who reveals himself to be the last descendant of King Ankat and, desiring his rightful place on the throne, demands the crown, which Adriana gladly gives in order to save Amon's life. Unfortunately, Ishmael broke his end of the bargain by shooting Amon and crowning himself. When Adam tries to save Amon, he loses control again and uses his powers to destroy the hideout, until the JSA saves Amon and Adriana when Ismail is killed in the process. Adam flees into the ruins once more, this time feeling guilty. There, he reveals to Hawkman that Hurit, his son, is the Kondak champion. Because he knew Hurit was unbeatable, the king's soldiers eventually executed the Hurit family, killed Isis, and left Adam to die. Hurit grants Adam his powers in order to save him, but on Archer's cots kill Hurit, who has lost his powers. Adam, enraged, slaughters all of the king's men before being summoned by Shazam wizards, who imprison him after determining him unfit. Adam then surrenders to the JSA, who take him to the Waller underwater prison, feeling unable to become Kondak's champion and protect him. Fate continued to have bad dreams soon after.
JSA arrives just in time to stop Sabak from summoning the undead to Kondak. Kareem joins Adriana and Amon in fighting them. Amon called on the people of Kondak to fight together against the undead in order to free Kondak. At the ruins of Ankat, the JSA prepares to face Sabak. Fate, on the other hand, summons a magical force field that prevents Hawkman, Cyclone, and Atom Smasher from entering the ruins, and reveals that Hawkman's death was averted at the cost of Fate's sacrifice. Fate then fights Sabak alone while using astral projection to free Adam from his suspended state so that Adam can assist them. Adam escapes from prison, but Sabak murders Destiny. When Destiny dies, the force field vanishes, allowing Hawkman, Cyclone, and Adam Smasher to fight Sabak, who defeats them. Adam arrives just as he is about to kill JSA and fight Sabak but gradually loses because Sabak's powers can hurt him. Hawkman employs the Fate Helmet and a magical spell he learned from Fate to assist Adam in killing Sabak. The JSA parted on good terms with Adam, who accepted his new role as protector rather than ruler of the Kondak. Before being confronted by Superman, Waller communicates with the defiant Atom, warning him of the forces ready to stop him. <laughs>